was set up in what used to be called Bomb Alley in Belfast. It was burnt out and then went bust more than once. Terry Hooley's Good Vibrations has had more than a few ups and downs over the years, but it's probably one of the most celebrated record stores in the country, inspiring a film, a musical and now an exhibition at the Imperial War Museum in London. Our arts correspondent David Silito has been talking to the man behind the counter and the legacy his little shop has left in Northern Ireland. I was an old hippie. I grew up in Belfast in the 60s. It was a wonderful time. But then it was dreadful when the troubles came along. Nobody came to play in Belfast. So I set up good vibrations to put Belfast on the music map again. Belfast this afternoon as the streets were thronged with weekend shoppers, bombs exploded one after the other. When it comes to brilliant business plans, Terry Holy's decision to open Good Vibrations is probably best filed under brave rather than promising. I set up on Great Victoria Street, which was known then as Bomb Alley. And then he pulled a gun and he said, it's a bomb, you have five minutes. There was a dull thud. And the lights and went off. Exploded the same without time. any warning. The three story building collapsed. It was like a, a little oasis in, in a desert of madness. I mean, the whole country was having a nervous breakdown. <laughs> Belfast City Council used to try and ban our concerts. We were seen as a threat. <laughs> But what changed everything was a group of teenagers called The Undertones. Terry helped them record their first single. The record company said it was rubbish. John Peel said it was the greatest thing he'd ever heard. However, that record store? The shop opened and closed 11 times because I was never a businessman. But this isn't about Terry's ability to run a record store. It's about his part in a punk scene that was centred around his shop and the city's hot bar. Punk in London was seen to be a fashionable thing which maybe lasted a year or so. Punk in Belfast was something different. A lot of these kids came from working class areas that were controlled by the paramilitaries. And to be a punk was a very brave thing. Very often, the punks had to fight their way to the heart bar and fight their way home again. And inside the bar? Inside the bar. Totally it, non-sectarian. Totally non-sectarian. And 40 years on, you can still hear the echoes. My earliest memories of there being something that I now know was the Troubles was seeing newspapers with men with balaclavas on their face so as a five-year-old that was terrifying to me and I would have nightmares about it. Hello my name is Shannon O'Neill. I am a performer with the punk band Sister Ghost based in Belfast but I'm originally from County Derry. I am 26 years old. Proud to be a Derry punk. (laughs) You're part of a long heritage. Yeah, I think about the richness of the punk history almost every time I go on stage in Belfast or Derry because it's got nothing to do with your politics or your creed. Like, no one really cares what religion you're born into. Back then, I think it was so important to create this exceptional space where people could come and forget about the troubles and feel that friendship through music. The music scene now is even more diverse than it was, and I think that's a benefit of the years since that time. All of which takes us back to Terry Holy and a slightly troubling question. Was conflict good for creativity? Well, a lot of the excitement and stuff was down to the conflict. I mean, bands were formed in the shop. People met and got married in the shop. I mean, it was a safe haven for a a lot of young people. Uh, I don't know whether we could have done that in peacetime. Maybe it wouldn't have been as exciting. You sound almost nostalgic for what was actually a terrible time, wasn't it? Dreadful, dreadful. I'm surprised I'm still alive. I was being threatened by both sides. Uh, had guns put at my head. But for such a small country, I believe that we have got some of the greatest talent in Europe. And it's still a great city. The people are great. We might hate each other, but if, say, if you were a tourist, we love you. You know, if you don't come from Belfast, we love you. We just hate each other, so we do. <laughs> great sounds of the undertones there, finishing.